I just so happen to be looking through my subscri uh, subscribers and I came across something very disturbing. Disturbing, but not shocking, considering the nature of what we're going through as um, people that are being persecuted. So here's my subscriber section and I'm just going to scroll down so that I can get to where I need to get to show you what I need to show you just one second okay here right there so this uh this person, you know, this person is a witch, Bruja Ursula Barrientos, and I discovered it. For those of you that feel that this is not spiritual, for those of you that's, that feel like it's, um, there's no witches involved, it's just straight technology, I'm here to tell you different. Why is this witch on my page? Why is she a subscriber to my channel? Now, clearly this is, you know, there's your satanic symbol right there. Clearly she's a witch. So these are the types of people that we have that are keeping close eyes on us, that are watching us. You know, it's a reason why they have surveillance on us. There's a reason for that. Have you ever heard the um, the expression, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer? That's exactly what these, uh, these devils are doing. They're keeping their enemies close. The children of God, they're keeping them close. Close eye, close watch on them. And I'm not disturbed by it. I just wanted to point this out so that I could show other tar <clears throat> other people going through this harassment and persecution that there are people working against us. There are devils, demons, witches of all sorts working against us. And I'm going to tell you what the Bible says about these devils and witches and sorcerers. Exodus 22. And it's going to be 18. Exodus 22, 18, right here. Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. Okay. So, basically, I would like to pray against this witch. I call upon the holy mighty angels of the Father of Israel, of the Creator, the Alpha and the Omega, to place his protection upon me, upon my life, my soul. That no witch, warlock, wizard, sorcerer shall place any harm against me or my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray this. As it is written in scripture, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And so shall it be. I'd also like to ask other uh, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to also pray for me as well. There's power in numbers, so I, I ask that you pray against this witch that is subscribed to my page for whatever reason. Well, you know, I know what the reason is. We all know, but let's just pray against these witches that are watching us, that are keeping tabs on us. At least she was open about it. There's no telling, because usually witches aren't very revealing. You know what I mean? A lot of them, they do their, their, uh, their dirty workings in secret and whatnot. But at least I was able to kind of stumble across this one. Just going through my subscribers list. I don't really go through the, my subscribers list often. I don't really keep up with, you know, stuff like that. But I uh, just so happened to look. And, uh, yeah, I saw that witch on there. Let me also find the scripture where it says, there shall, there shall not be found among you any 
sorcerers. Uh, yeah, let me find that on there one second. I want to say that's also Deut Deuteronomy, but I may be wrong. Yeah, it's Deuteronomy 18, verses 10 through 12. It says, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth the divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God that drive them out before thee. So clearly the Most High is against practices of that nature. I also want to encourage or make T.I.'s aware that we are infiltrated and inundated with snakes. They're all around us. Be very careful. And I'm pretty sure you guys know this information, but for anybody who is new, who is just trying to figure out what's going on with all this, be very careful with the people that are around you. Be very watchful and be very careful. The devil is very busy. Each day that goes by, it's, it's much more time that's, that's short for the devil. So he is working overtime, triple time, quadruple time to catch us slipping so that he can cause our demise. So just be very careful and observant of the people around you. People that you know, especially people that you know, strangers, even your family, your true family are the ones that do the will of God. I implore you also to test the spirits of people. Anybody can open their mouth and, and confess and say that they accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. The Bible even says that Satan can appear as an angel of light. Satan knows the Bible better than most of these so-called Christians. So Satan can also use scripture to kind of reel you in and to deceive you as well. So just ask the Father in heaven for better discernment in being able to tell who's legit and who's not you know you can tell by their fruits the fruits that they bear pay attention to the things that they're saying pay attention to their actions we're living in some very 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 dangerous and crucial times people there are people that are against us that you wouldn't even think would be against us. So it's important to stay in prayer constantly. Now I know what Jesus meant when he said to pray feverishly. <sighs> it's crazy. Some other stuff I wanted to kind of talk about. I'm kind of freestyling, I guess, or just speaking on random thoughts. Um, give me a second, bear with me. I'm sure it'll, something will come to mind. Read scripture against your enemies. If you're out in public and you find that people are, um, the harassment is just overwhelming at that time, don't be shy or afraid to pull out scripture and read. You will be surprised at how many demons you drive away. I never forget, um, I went to the grocery store, um, I want to say this is like maybe a week or so ago, and uh, when I went to the store, it was right when they opened up, right at, I think it was like 6 a.m., and as soon as I walk in there, of course, you know, 